What's up everybody um, second one tonight welcome to glass can bottle beer reviews um, probably should be six reviews tonight because my, my Tar Heels lost um, not a good look especially against Duke but hey this is a good game Duke, Duke boys did come back even though Grayson Allen looked like a crying baby as usual uh, anyway um, so our second one tonight is another barrel brewery um, beer it's the scythe rye ipa um always cool can art out of these guys it's really cool stuff um it's seven percent with a 66 ibu another one i've never had so um see what we got here mmm I'm liking this better than the, the, the Gang of Blades double. It's just got just a lot of the mango, pineapple, a lot of pineapple, orange, all your tropical fruits. Oh my goodness. I don't like this one. I don't know when it was with the other. Maybe my. I drank a crappy beer before on the Gang of Blades review. I'll probably do that one again. Um, but it just had a, I mean, it was still really good. We gave it an eight, 8 point, I think it was an 8.8 8 total. Um, so it was really good beer. So, um, but just, it, it had a weird olive type taste in, to me. I don't know, like I said, my palate was off tonight. I don't know what was going on. Um, my palate's always probably off, but more than usual. Um, but, um, anyway, um, it, I mean, I like the olive, I like olives, I like the olive note. So, anyway, um, anyway, here we go with the, the scythe rye. Oh, yeah. This is pretty dark. Not really dark, definitely filtered again. Um, it's just a, it's kind of looks weird in the photo. Uh, or in the video, it's a more of a darker color straw, um, golden type color. Um, really good nose on it. Um, like I said, even better out of the can. I love the nose out of the can. I mean, you can definitely there's a little bit of that funkiness, um, not dankness, but funkiness because they do use um, their own. They have their own yeast strand they use. Um, so, the same thing. I mean, it smells light. It smells a light, like a light body, like the, the Gang of Blades, but the Gang of Blades actually has a decent mouthfeel to it. So, um, you know, but this one has all those tropical flavors going on the pineapple, grapefruit, orange. I got photo bombs. A goofball. So <laughs> here we go. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's good stuff. Might have to go back and get more of this. Yeah, it's it's still got it's got those those tropical flavors that pineapple, the mango, the grapefruit, the orange. Um, not as much as the, as the nose on it, um, but then it's got this really good. It's got a good dankness to it. Um, so you get that that aroma of, of that fruit basket, but then it hits you with the dankness on, on the taste. Um, it's good. I like this stuff. This is good stuff here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's that's up there. That beer is up there. Um, I know the hype on beer on that one. It, 
that's that's a good that's, that's a good one. Um, so basically, mm, that's good. Um, you've got that dankness. You've got the the tropical definitely on the nose. Um, tropical, some in the taste too. Um, starts out. I drink so much to figure it out here. Oh yeah, the pineapple, grapefruit, real smooth, dances on the tongue with a little bit of bitterness. This finishes nice and bitter. Um, like I said, kind of different. Gang of Blades was I think 80 IBUs in the double IPA that was released today, and this is 66 IBUs. Um, but I'm also getting probably getting a little bit more bitterness out of this one. It, it's it's different. Um, the Gang of Blades, though, for 8% is drinkable. I dog that thing. Um, but this, overall, I, mean, I love this beer here. Um, I'd give this Burial Scythe uh, Rye IPA, I'm going to probably a 9.3 on this thing. You'd probably get up to a 9.5. I mean, 9.3 9 is probably about right. Um, really good beer. Um, like I said, I mean, I could... I could probably go 9.5 even, but I mean, that's somewhere in that range. Really good beer. Um, man, come to North Carolina and get this stuff. Good stuff. Asheville's got a lot of other good stuff too, but this is this is solid. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you do something you want me to try, let me know. And um, thank you.